Dear viewers, Drishti IAS welcomes you to the new series of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is sea floor spreading. First of all, let's see why is it in the news. Sea floor spreading rates have slowed down by roughly 35% globally, according to a study that analyzed data from the last 19 million years. Growing mountains might be one of the factors driving the slowdown, the analysis found. Now let's understand what is the sea floor spreading hypothesis. The sea floor spreading hypothesis was proposed by the American geophysicist Harry H. Hess in 1961. Sea floor spreading is a geological process that creates crust, the outermost shell of Earth. Tectonic plates separate, allowing magma from the Earth's interior to fill the gap in this phenomenon. The magma cools to form a new oceanic crust. These activities occur along mid-ocean ridges, large mountain ranges rising from the ocean flow. Now let's discuss about the evidence of sea floor spreading. It was realized that all along the mid-oceanic ridges, volcanic eruptions are common and they bring huge amounts of lava to the surface in this area. The rocks equidistant on either side of the crest of mid-oceanic ridges show remarkable similarities in terms of the period of formation, chemical compositions and magnetic properties. Rocks closer to the mid-oceanic ridges have normal polarity and are the youngest. The age of the rocks increases as one moves away from the crest. The ocean crust rocks are much younger than the continental rocks. The age of rocks in the oceanic crust is nowhere more than 200 million years old. The sediments on the ocean floor are unexpectedly very thin. Scientists were expecting, if the ocean floors were as old as the continent, to have a complete sequence of sediments for a period of much longer duration. However, nowhere was the sediment column found to be the older than 200 million years. The deep trenches have deep-seated earthquake occurrences, while in the mid-oceanic ridge areas, the quake foci have shallow depths. Now lastly, let's discuss about the plate tectonic theory. Since the advent of the concept of sea floor spreading, the interest in the problem of distribution of oceans and continents was revived. It was in 1967, Mackenzie, Parker and Morgan independently collected the available ideas and came out with another concept termed plate tectonics. A tectonic plate is a massive, irregularly shaped slab of solid rock, generally composed of both continental and oceanic lithosphere. The theory of plate tectonics proposes that the Earth's lithosphere is divided into seven major and some minor plates. These plates have been constantly moving over the globe throughout the history of the Earth. Moreover, it may be noted that all the plates, without exception, have moved in the geological past and shall continue to move in the future as well. Now it's time for the practice question. The concept of sea floor spreading was given by Alfred Wegener, Immanuel Kant, Sir Harold Jeffrey, or Harry H. Hess. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Drishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.